Welcome to another edition of Monday Night Raw. I'm Jim Ross, alongside Jerry the King Lawler at ringside. And King, what a way to start out our show. You're not kidding, JR. When Raw starts off with our WWE Champion headed to the ring, you know you've got one heck of a night ahead of you. Of course, considering who the champ is, I guess we shouldn't be surprised that he's too much of a coward to actually put the title on the line tonight. This might be a non-title match, King, but we've just been informed that the champion will be defending the title next week against an opponent to be named later tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Raw has come home for one of the biggest events of the year, live in the heart of New York City. They don't come any bigger than the Big Apple, JR, and they don't get any better than the superstars of Raw. They sure don't, King. New Yorkers don't impress easily, but there's no doubt in my mind that the Raw superstars are more than up to the task. with that man, The Undertaker. I don't think there is. Have you got both your contacts in one eye, JR? There's no way The Undertaker's gonna win this match. Just look at it. Oh, I am, King. I'm looking at one of the most awesome forces I've ever seen in a W. He's taken every advantage in this matchup, and it looks like he plans on taking a few more. If he's not the dirtiest player in the game, JR, he's a shoe in for second place. He reversed it. A textbook reversal there. Boy, what a match. I wouldn't even hazard a guess as to who's going to win this. What? Have you got both your contacts in one eye, JR? It's been obvious to me since the start of the match. Oh, really? Well, then, why don't you just enlighten the rest of us, King? No way! I can already tell this is going to be a great match, and I don't want to ruin the ending for you. You're too kind, King. You're also going to force me here, as far as I can tell. Rob Van Dam is such an amazing athletic competitor. There's not a doubt in my mind that he's one of the biggest stars in the business. You've got to be kidding me, JR. I think you're more out of it than RVD is. I mean, Van Dam might have a few fans, but that doesn't mean he's as big a star as he seems to think he is. Something wrong with your eyes, King? You need glasses? Look at all the RVD fans in this arena. There aren't many other superstars who get this kind of reception. Well, just because a bunch of people believe something, that doesn't make it right. It wouldn't be the first time the fans have backed the wrong horse, JR. This match has the potential to be an instant classic, and I think these fans are too stupid to realize it. How can you say that, King? How can you insult the intelligence of the... Look at the confidence radiating off this superstar. All I see is an overconfident superstar who's throwing away the match by not following up. Listen to the crowd, JR. I think they've got something to say to these superstars. And if they're smart, they'll listen. Remember, without these fans, these superstars are out of a job. You know, JR, everyone goes on and on about how great The Undertaker is, but I think he's overrated. It looks like he's taking his opponent for a ride, King. And that's one ride you don't ever want to take, the last ride.
masterpiece. Look who he's got with him. It's WWE Women's Champion Trish Stratus. Man, some guys have all the luck. What an incredible performance. I think our WWE Champion deserves a hand, don't you? No, no, please. Don't let us distract you. Enjoy showing that WWE title off while you can, because this is the last week you're going to be able to do it. You see, your opponent for next week's title defense is none other than this man right here, the masterpiece, Chris Masters. And it's not just gonna be any match. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's going to be a ladder match. A ladder match for the WWE title, right here next week on Raw. Oh, this is going to be great! This is a huge opportunity for Chris Masters, a ladder match for the WWE title. And I see that he's bringing some insurance with him to the ring. Who? Trish Stratus? Come on, Trish is a gentle flower. She wouldn't hurt a fly. I'm sure she just wants a great view. And now that she's out here, I've got one too. Trish Stratus is the women's champion king, and we both know she's more than capable in the ring. I just hope that her only involvement in tonight's title match is to offer moral support. Here he comes, the WWE Champion. He's got the title belt around his waist as he walks down that aisle but it won't be long before it's raised 15 feet in the air above the ring. This doesn't happen often, but I've got to agree with you, JR. It's probably the last time we're going to see him with the WWE title. I didn't say that, King, and don't you go putting words into my mouth. I'm supposed to be impartial, as are you, I might add, but if it came down to it, I admit that I'd prefer to have him as Raw's champion rather than that cocky Chris Masters. Welcome to Raw, ladies and gentlemen. We are coming to you live tonight from Tar Helia, from Raw, North Carolina. We should have booked this show for an outdoor arena, JR, because Raw's gonna blow the roof off this place tonight. You're not kidding, King. Raleigh is Raw country for sure, and these fans are in for the night of their life. Did you see that? That's gonna leave a mark. I think that's the whole idea, King. These superstars are putting on a great match so far, JR. But if they drop the ball, these fans will let them hear about it. I don't think that's going to happen, King. These competitors know their intents come straight from the WWE fans. They're not going to let them down. Yeah, but if they don't keep the fans happy... If, if, if wishes were fishes, the world would be an ocean. But that's not the case now, is it? JR. Well, they paid for their tickets, King, and they've got a right to say whatever they want. My God, he's using those steel ring steps as a weapon against his opponent. It's not easy to look at, JR, but that's a great strategy. You've got to do whatever you can if you want to win a match like this.
These superstars sure aren't going easy on each other here tonight. What you expect, team? This isn't ballet, you know. Oh, really, JR? Gosh, tell me more about your in-ring experience. Well, I've got a pinfall victory over Triple H to my credit. How about you? I feel like we shouldn't even be talking during this match, JR. We should just silently admire the masterpiece. Like we were looking at a sculptor in a museum or something. If you want to zip your lip for a few minutes, he must be looking for a weapon of some kind. I'd ask you who you want to win this matchup, JR, but it's been pretty obvious since the start of the show who you're pulling for. I'm trying to remain as... A... He's reaching for it! This could be it, JR! Listen to the crowd, JR! I think they've got something to say to these superstars. And if they're smart, they'll listen. Remember, without these fans, these superstars are out of a job. I think this is it, JR. That title's got to come down. It looks like they've slowed the match down a little. And I think that's some good strategy right there. It certainly is. I'm sure they're well. It's going to. something in that tank. Look out! The ladder's about to... No! My God, no! I think Masters is out, King. is Chris Newland. There's the bell! Is this a disqualification or... Where are you going, Trish? This is a WWE title, damn it! You can't just go and have someone steal it for you and call yourself the champion. Well, it looks to me like the masterpiece did just that. And unless I'm mistaken, and I almost never am, this is a no disqualification match. How can anything be illegal in a match where everything's legal? The referee has just declared Chris Masters the new WWE Champion. How is that even possible? You know what they say, JR. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. You can believe what you want, King, but I don't believe we've heard the end of this. At least I hope we haven't. This is Shane McMahon. Look, I've received your messages. Please stop calling. I don't know what to tell you about the WWE title situation yet. The board of directors is hashing it out, and I should have an answer for you next week. So your rematch against Masters tonight is not, I repeat, not for the WWE title. Believe me, we're trying to sort this thing out as quickly as possible.
and here comes Chris Masters in. What the hell is Trish Stratus doing with a WWE title? Denial ain't just a river in Egypt, JR. Chris Masters won it last week on Raw, remember? You saw it with your own two eyes. That might be your view, King, but as I understand it, we still don't have a WWE Champion. And until we do, I think Chris Stratus and Chris Masters are the last people who should be holding on to the title. Poor Trish. I'm glad her pretty little ears can't hear you, JR. I don't think she'd appreciate your conspiracy theories. And by the way, I think you'd better get used to referring to him as WWE Champion Chris Masters. Thank you very much. Boy, the champ looks close. I'd hate to be Chris Masters in this match. Wait, didn't you just say that we didn't have a champion, JR? Isn't that a little hypocritical of you to refer to him as the champ? Well, he's still the champion in my mind, King, and in the minds of a lot of other people, too. And I have a feeling that once the board of directors finish up their investigation, they'll come to the same conclusion. Raw is live tonight from Oakland, California. I'm Jim Ross here with Jerry the King Lawler. I've never seen a hotter crowd, JR. These Oakland fans are completely out of control. This is gonna be great. You're not wrong, King. The Bay Area's always been a hot spot for the superstars of Raw, and tonight is no exception. I don't care how tough you are, JR. No one can take this kind of pain for long. You're absolutely right, King. We see many superstars tap out to this very hole. Well, from the looks of things, it's not hard to tell how this one's gonna go. What are you talking about, King? I think this is still an extremely competitive match that could go either way. You know, JR, it's obvious that the only exercise you get is stretching the truth or jumping to conclusions. Well, judging from the shape I'm in, I don't care to be doing too much of either, King. You're looking pretty fit, though, I must say. You know, JR, everyone goes on and on about how great The Undertaker is, but I think he's overrated. It takes more than black lights and some dry ice to impress me. And how about going 14 and 0 at WrestleMania, King? How about being a four time WWE champion? Does that impress you? Now, come on, JR. I'm not saying that the dead man doesn't have one or two impressive achievements to his name. I just think he's taken too seriously for a grown man who dresses like it's Halloween every day. One or two? There's a reason. Look at this! Look at this! You talk about a house of fire, you're seeing it right here! Yeah? Well, somebody better put out that fire, or this one's not gonna end well. Looks like he's trying for a pin here! Was that three? No? Come on! This has gone beyond just being a match, JR. I think these superstars genuinely hate each other. There's no love lost between these competitors, that's for sure. If looks could kill, somebody would be pushing up Daisy's right. Climbing up the turnbuckle isn't bad. It's all the ways you could come down that hurt. Sounds like this crowd's got something on their minds, King. Who cares about them, JR? Look what's going on. Oh boy, this looks like an all or nothing move. I feel like we shouldn't even be talking during this match, JR. We should just silently admire the masterpiece, like we were looking at a sculpture in a museum or something. If you want to zip your lip for a few minutes, King, I won't complain. But don't expect, it looks like he's taking his opponent for a ride, King. And that's one ride you don't ever want to take, the last ride.
Here's your winner, The Undertaker. Okay, listen up. This is a bit of a surprise, but here's what the WWE Board of Directors says about the WWE title. They've decided that they're not going to make a decision about who is the rightful WWE Champion. What? You've got to be kidding me. Hold on. They've decided that the three of you, yes, you two, Trish, will face each other for the WWE title this Sunday at SummerSlam. What are you talking about? I'm not, I'm not getting into the ring with him. You didn't seem to have a problem doing that two weeks ago, Trish, which is why you're in the mess you are in now. Well, I can tell you right now, I'm not getting into the ring whoa, with him. Whoa, whoa, Trish, wait a minute. Think about it. You're legally allowed to come in the ring and do whatever you want in the match. I'm not saying I need any help to beat this jerk, but it never hurts, right? There's nothing wrong with that, is there? Look, as long as this is not illegal, you can do whatever you want. But one way or another, Raw is going to have a new WWE Champion by next week's show, so everyone's happy. Oh, and by the way, you two have a mixed tag tonight against him and Mickey James. You better go get ready. The bone. And the opponent from Death Valley, weighing in at 305 pounds, The Undertaker. Welcome to Raw, live tonight from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I'm Ted Rollins, your Jerry the King Wall. I love Fort Lauderdale, JR, especially around spring break. Yahoo! Well, spring break only comes once a year. But Raw brings the excitement we go wherever we go, and tonight is no exception. This match has the potential to be an instant classic, but I think these fans are too stupid to realize it. How can you say that, Pete? How can you insult me? He smacks it as a pony's face right in the middle of the step. It will step on solid steel. I can only imagine the damage you must be doing. We're rehearsing. This is going to be a just power match, Jay. I think these superstars genuinely hate each other. There's no love lost between these competitors, that's for sure. If Luke yeah. could kill, somebody would be pushing up daisies. And you better admit, that makes for a much more interesting match, DR. It sure does. But I just hope these superstars yeah. can settle their differences in the ring and leave it at that. 
This is a risky move. It could prove to be disastrous. You talk about ruthless aggression. Look at the way these superstars are going after each other. They're not playing with kid gloves, that's for sure. We knew we were going to see a heck of a match, but this might turn out to be... Go ahead and say it, JR. All right, I will. I think this one's got all the making of a bonafide slobber knocker. So, JR, are you enjoying the match so far? Yes, I am. I think these superstars are putting on one of the hell of a match for me. It's a three count away from the pinball. These superstars sure aren't going easy on each other here tonight. Perfect bet, Dean. This is a bad idea. Oh, really, Jay? Gosh, tell me more about your in ring experience. Well, I've got a pinball and hit me over Triple X to my credit. How about you? Stars compete against each other here tonight, JR. I have a pretty good pass to come across sooner or later. And I'm glad I'm here to see it. Me too. It almost makes it worth having to sit next to you and listen to those corny expressions of yours. What the heck is a government mule anyway? It's what you get heat right. We're in the middle of a slumber. Oh my gosh! He's got his opponent 10 feet in the air! JR! You know what's next? The last try! There's no move more feared in all the sports entertainment! Here's the pin! One, two! I think I know who's gonna win this one, JR. Oh, really? Enlighten us, kid. Wait a second. Why are you so eager to hear my prediction? Because I want to know who's gonna win it. And nine times out of ten, it's not a super you pick. I text out reversal there. Oh, boy. These fans have got something on their minds, JR. Well, I, it looks like we're due for some old school slobber monster brutality here, King. Oh, wow! What a chip! And there's a little something for the crowd. The best superstars never ignore their fans. The best superstars also finish up their opponents instead of giving them time to recover. It looks like he's taking his opponent for a ride, King. That's what I right don't ever want to take. Is there any superstar in WWE who could be looking at a pinball here, folks? <laughs> we might have just gotten a glimpse of the SummerSlam WWE title match this Sunday, King. All three contenders look pretty good out there tonight. It hardly seems fair, though, that poor Trish has to compete against two WWE superstars, forcing her to face Chris Masters, the superstar she manages, and the rightful WWE champion. It's just wrong. I don't think Trish has any intention of competing against Masters, King. This seems more like a handicap match than a triple...
I've got to tell you, the board of directors can usually be counted on to be a voice of reason in the WWE, but it seems like they've answered a controversial problem with an equally controversial solution. Will you stop being so sexist? Why can't you just admit that it's okay for a woman to be involved in a WWE title match? This isn't the 1950s, JR. That's completely beside the point, King, and you know it. The board has made a triple threat match that essentially is going to be a handicap match. I don't even think Trish Stratus can legally be a WWE champion. She's not even in the division. And under these two-on-one circumstances, I have a hard time picturing the masterpiece Chris Masters walking out of SummerSlam without the WWE Championship. I can't remember the last time I've seen a man have to fight so hard to win back something that he never rightfully lost. Come on, admit it. Don't you get tired of all his moaning and complaining about being screwed out of the WWE title? Actually, I've been extremely impressed with how he's managed to restrain himself thus far, King. I can only imagine that he's saving it all for the ring. Looks like he's decided to grab a weapon from under the ring. What an impact! That's going to do some damage. You're not kidding, Cole. That's gonna hurt like hell. You saw that one coming. Oh, man. I don't think that was ever meant to be used like that. Maybe not, Cole, but I'll tell you what. It seems to be doing a trick. This isn't, ha, ah, that's the way to do it. Grab a weapon from under the ring and start swing. You know, Cole, I, oh my God, what a chair shot. Yeah, and that don't tickle. Believe me, young lady, I don't think that chair is going to be good for much after this match. Well, it's good for what he used it for, and that's all that really matters. Man, what a chair shot. Reminds me of the old ECW days. If that's your idea of good old days, I'm glad he's had enough. This could be it. This is it. The last ride. Oh, God. You can just feel the impact from here. And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed at the superstars in the ring. Yeah, and you can't let that break your focus. But that's easier said than done. Talk about your compromising positions. Nothing will take the fight out of a superstar quicker than a move like this. Oh, boy. I hope this superstar wasn't planning on uh, reproducing, if you know what I'm saying. Well, I guess adoption's still an option, right? All right. Time to see what kind of toys we got under the ring. Oh, my God. What a sickening impact from that sledgehammer. No kidding. That thing is meant to crush stone. Just imagine what it will do to a human body. Someone's going for a ride, Cole. And it looks like it's the last ride. I don't think I've ever seen a guy as well put together as the master. This could be three right here.
just gave a low blow to Masters. Trish is going for the pin. My God, Trish damn near knocked his block off with that title belt. How is this fair? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. What has she done? What has Trish done? This was premeditated. This is her game plan for tonight. I think history has just been made, JR. Trish Stratus might be the first female WWE champion in history. But wait, I don't want to sound sexist, but I'm not sure that Trish is legally allowed to hold that title. I'm sure she's not, King. That would be like a 300-pounder winning the cruiserweight title, or a single superstar winning both tag team titles. Well, maybe I'm just a little more open-minded than you, JR, but I'm proud of the barrier that Trish Stratus has broken here tonight. And I'm gonna give her a special treat and let her celebrate with the king tonight. triple threat title match turned out for you last night but you have to look at the silver lining okay like tonight i'm going to get a chance to win the wwe title from trish i know you and all the rest of the boys in the back will be cheering for me tonight so wish me luck okay bye